Hello guys, I am Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and I am here today to review the MakerBot Replicator 3D Printer. And a little bit about my background before I do the review. Those of you who are subscribed to my channel and watch my videos know that I pretty much live on the bleeding edge of technology. I'm always the first to buy a new technology type items, whether it's 3D printers, unmanned aerial drones, new microcontrollers. So I'm a guy who really spends my life working on new and emerging technologies. And so while I am not and have not been a subject matter expert on 3D printers, I'm someone who is adept at getting a new, not quite completely mature technology, digging into it and making it work. Okay. And so the types of things that I'm very used to doing is getting something that is new and exciting and then going in and trying to figure out how to make it work. And I understand that a lot of times these new things have some glitches. You've got to know how to work with customer support. You've got to know how to use the internet. You've got to know how to dig deep and uh, look at the support forums, look at the user community, and really look through things sometimes to get things working. And so I'm not someone who expects something to come out of the box like a coffee maker and just you know plug it in and it works. I understand that you have to work with these things. But the bottom line of having spent two years with this uh, MakerBot 3D printer is thumbs down. It is not ready for prime time and particularly if you are in the education field I very very much suggest that you not buy this printer. Now let me uh, let me give you a little bit of my experience with this. Again, you know, I'm I'm used to buying things that you have to kind of work with to make uh, to make work, but very very bad experience with this uh, with this MakerBot rep replicator. Uh, we bought it several years ago, and again, uh, I've spent my life as a uh, working engineer, had my own company, worked as an executive in Silicon Valley, and so I really I really understand high tech stuff. But right now, I am working as a high school teacher, and so. So uh, the reason that I was interested in the MakerBot Replicator is I felt that we had a very strong program in electronics and programming and circuits and things like that, but wanted to get the students a little bit more exposed to mechanical engineering. What I found was it's very hard to get the students to be excited about learning something like AutoCAD because they learn AutoCAD, they do a design, and they just have a picture of it. And as a high school, you don't have thousands or tens of thousands of dollars to go to a machine shop and have these prototypes built and so I thought the way to get students excited about learning more the mechanical side of thing AutoCAD inventor programs like that would be to have a 3d printer so that they could not only design these things but then could go out and build them and so I talked to the school I got the money I think this thing was uh, probably close by the time we had all the money that we put into it close to three thousand dollars and so for a high school that was a, a lot of money uh, when we got the thing and put it together uh, I remember it came in the students were just really excited about it they came in and I would say probably within the first half day they had it up and running and there was a little uh, a little demo file on it and you could print out this nut and bolt and so within the first afternoon they printed out this little nut and bolt and they were just ecstatic to see this thing printing it out and then all of a sudden everybody's coming in everybody's signing up for the class everybody just can't wait to realize their ideas on this 3d printer but I will say within the first week things started going bad. They printed out a couple of these little demo pieces, but then almost immediately the printer started malfunctioning. And the first malfunction that we had with this printer is, is that the stuff would not stick to the build plate. That when they tried to build things, the stuff wouldn't stick. You couldn't get that first layer down. And this was not being fancy. This was just sort of using the factory, uh, the factory settings. Okay new technology you know you got to dig deep so we go in and we start uh, looking in the forums looking in the user community come to find out everybody had this problem with it and there were various solutions and so we uh, kind of hobbled together some of the various solutions and overcame the problem of getting the print to stick to the to the print bed next problem that came up was a little bit more difficult and the next problem that came up was sort of associated with the print head it would get in the middle of the print and then it would just start air printing or it would miss a layer 
kind of skip a layer and then start extruding and then if you were not watching it, it would just create this horrible ball of gunk or if you were watching it you would have to stop it and uh, uh, and, and try to figure out what was wrong. And, and what it seemed to be was it was kind of a combination of two things that either the gear that was pushing the filament was just not pushing it hard enough or something about the print head itself had too much resistance and so the gear would spin and sort of eat into the filament and then you would end up with a uh, with a printing error. Okay we go back to the forums and sure enough we find out that everybody is having this problem that apparently it's a you know poorly designed print head and so some people had figured out what to do and these were more complicated solutions that involved having to buy parts having to buy things and so we bought all these things and we got the upgraded print head and then with the upgraded print head and you know this is uh, took we're now sort of several months into this and just got a few little demo pieces printed uh, we we uh, we got the upgraded print head and I think even by this point uh, MakerBot had come out with a new print head and we we purchased the upgraded print head and yeah it worked a little bit better and at that point we were getting several prints that were working and so okay we're gonna go back we're gonna get this thing done you know had lost several months but now we're gonna go in and get it done well next thing is the board itself had something go out on it the control board had something go out on it then we had to deal with uh, MakerBot support and you, you you know it's like really hard it's like they don't even want to talk to you and finally we got the parts ordered that we needed to fix it but then it, it's like it, you know they wouldn't ship it and then they wouldn't talk to us on the phone about when they would ship it and it was just like a complete breakdown in communication we had ordered the part that we needed we knew what we needed but we couldn't get it they just wouldn't ship it so this went on for two or three more months then we finally get the board in and then we start trying to print again and then what happened is that uh, the the cable that goes from the control board up to the you know some of the stepper motors as the platform is moving around as the print head is moving around it's highly flexing that cable and that cable was not designed to be flexed that much and so what happened is is that imagine a wire that you keep bending very very aggressively well after a thousand times you bend it the wires break but they don't break cleanly and so what was happening was we would be printing along fine and then all of a sudden we'd get a glitch with an offset and then it would come back and start printing right again and this took us quite a quite a bit of effort to figure out but what we figured out is is that cable had an intermittent short in it so then we needed another cable and it wasn't a cable that would be just really easy to figure out and order and kind of make yourself and so we had to go back to MakerBot support same thing we got it ordered and it was like months and months and months and and, and it's like they wouldn't even talk to us you call them on the phone I, I actually just said look could you just tell me when you and, and the lady hung up on me so I get I get hung up on from uh, from MakerBot support and that was kind of disappointing again and, you know normally I don't you know I don't like depend on customer support from a company like a little baby you know normally I try to do things myself you know go through the forums work with the user community you know work with people that are dealing with the same type of things you are but on this cable I needed it from the company right I needed MakerBot to sell me this cable but I just wasn't able to uh, I wasn't able to get it and so uh, finally we got the cable and uh, so now we've got the better build plate. We've got the upgraded print head. We got a new motherboard. We've got a uh, we've got a uh, cable that's working. So so nominally the thing is functional, but then what we just started having is we had it, we were having problems with clogging. Man, it's just like you could maybe print something like this, but if you tried to print a bigger design, it would clog in the middle of the print. And some of these things were things that would maybe take a half a roll of filament, and so you go through. Half a roll of filament and then the thing would clog and then you would lose that print now when it clogged 
you really had to take the whole thing apart, break it all the way down, and then try to clean the clog. And it was very, very difficult to clean the clog. I mean, it wasn't, this thing is not built for easy maintenance and easy repair. And so it would take, a, you know, again, students or, you know, I'm just saying with students and in a school type of environment, it would take us half a day to uh, break the machine down, clean the nozzle, and then build the machine back okay and so doing that then you'd take half a day okay let's give it another try same thing maybe you get one good print and then the thing would clog again and with this intermittent clogging what we finally decided was was that probably we had a clog in the little print nozzle that we just were not getting all the way clear so then we order another print nozzle same thing had to deal with uh, uh, MakerBot support and just had a very very poor experience okay get the new nozzle in then maybe we get a couple of weeks of good prints and then all of a sudden we start having this 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 clogging problem again this 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 uh, every other print clogging and every other print having to break the machine all the way down and so bottom line is uh, I hate to say it but this thing just really broke our heart I mean and, and I'm saying that as a guy who loves bleeding edge technology a guy who is very very patient in making things work but what I have to say is is that this thing just absolutely broke our heart and the students you know what I want to teach the students is look you work hard you dig deep you do your research you don't give up and then you're rewarded with something that works and you can do something that other people can't do that just wasn't the case with this this is it didn't matter how di deep we dug or how hard we tried or how much we went and got support or you know worked on the on the forums and uh, the the user community forums man we just couldn't get this thing working we could not get it where you could go in and design something and print it without having to go through this break it all down put it all back together and so basically the students just finally and these are really really good students students who try very hard they just got completely completely discouraged and so uh, this is the MakerBot Replicator 2, and I'm sure people would say, oh, well, we fixed the problems. We got this, and we got that, and oh, it's a better this, it's a better that. I'm sure there's an argument like that that could be made. But man, when you're talking about $3,000 investment, you get kind of one chance at building customer loyalty. And with MakerBot, I just basically don't trust them. I see they've come out with newer, later, greater printers, but but what I looked at is is when they started upgrading the printers, it was like they were putting more bells and whistles and you know a fancier display and cooler knobs and sleeker designs. But as I dug in, it was not clear to me that they've ever fundamentally dealt with these issues of good customer support treating customers with respect not hanging up on them on the phone uh, they haven't addressed maybe the fundamental reliability issues or I have not been able to convince myself that they have dealt with the fundamental reliability issues associated with their product now the scary thing is is they have a very very good they're very adept at marketing and so it's sort of like uh, if you're in a high school you would see ooh, here's the slick one here's the one you don't have to put together here's the one you know uh, you know kind of like on the drone community ready to fly here's the one that's ready to print just uh, plug and go you know plug and play but but man I just haven't seen any reason that uh, I would trust them in buying a new printer and so I, I, I've uh, spent two years with this thing basically you see there's a lot of dust on it we've given up on this thing because it was nothing it was doing nothing but discouraging students from continuing in our engineering program and so my bottom line is is MakerBot not ready for prime time really did not treat customers at least me with respect and uh, you know I am I'm interested now I think the 3d printer technology has matured and so I am interested in getting back and starting to try some of these other 3d printers but as far as MakerBot you know I've had such a terrible experience that I am not going to buy another MakerBot and I cannot 
uh, I cannot recommend the MakerBot uh, printers to uh, to uh, my subscribers. Okay, hope you guys find this uh, useful. If you've had a different experience with the MakerBot, hey, put comments down below. I would love to hear if if uh, maybe I was just that one guy who who just didn't click with them or something. I mean, I'd be love to hear it if you guys had a different experience. Uh, if you like this, think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel. Again, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys.